Hello everyone, I'm Carissa from Profidia. This channel is created to share with you in-depth research for projects all across Singapore. And today, we are going to talk about the three bedrooms in Caspian. There will be three factors that I'll be sharing today. First factor is the exit timing. Second is the layout. And third is the surrounding supply. Let's dive into the first factor, which is the exit timing. There are two phases of exit. As we can see that the top 20 most profitable transactions have crossed the 600,000 mark. And they were those that purchased in 2009 during the launch and exited in the first phase which was in 2012 to 2013, which was right after the TOP of Caspian. And that means that buyers can visualize a physical unit for their own state. Moving downwards to 2014 to 2018, we can see that the profits have even declined to four to 500,000. That was partially due to the changes in the market and competition from the surrounding projects in the vicinity such as Lakefront, Lakeview and Lake Grandier. However, today, we can see that the prices have actually recovered and most of the profits are now back at 600000 In my opinion, I think this is the second phase of exit. Before I head to my next factor, I'm going to show you one last example on the difference in the exit timing. These are units that were purchased during launch with the same entry price and exited earlier in 2010 to 2011, which was before TOP and made a lower profit compared to those that sold in 2012 to 2013, which is after TOP, those owners made a handsome profit of 600,000. So again, this clearly shows us that the owners who sold after TOP made more because buyers are able to view the actual unit for their own stay before purchasing. Besides the exit timing, there are also other factors that affect your profit and the movement of the project. And that leads us to the second factor, which is the layout. I will be showing you different layouts in Caspian and comparing it with one of its competitors, which is the Lakefront Residence. In Caspian, there is a few layouts. First, we have the 1141, 1195, 1206, 1216, 1238, 1281, and 1302. All of them comes with bay window and balcony, except for the 1141 and 1281 graphic with only bay window. I will be comparing the 1195 square feet unit in Caspian and the 990 square feet unit in Lakefront to show you why is there a drop in price and demand in Caspian. Both units have balcony, but for Caspian, a lot of the space has gone to its bay window. Thus, both units have similar usable space. For 1195 square feet at Caspian, was transacted at 1.388 million, whereas the 990 square feet at Lakefront was transacted at 1.18 million. With buyers being able to feel and compare the difference at physical unit and do their calculations accordingly, they in turn choose the newer units with the same usable space at 200,000 lower. This links us to the third factor, the surrounding supply. So in 2013, a 1238 square feet unit in Caspian was transacted at 1.445 million. But in 2014, same size, the unit was only transacted at 1.33 million. So as I mentioned earlier, because of Lakefront and they have the similar usable space, the transactions at Lakefront was going only at about 1.15 million for a 1023 square feet unit and 1.28 for a 1055 square feet unit. That is why Caspian price has to reduce. Hence, it is important to know your surrounding supply to know when is the best time to exit. For the owners of Caspian, if you are thinking of selling, now may be one of the best time to exit the property again. As for the past 6 years, the price hasn't been really moving or rather declining. So with the age of the property and now with the price recovered, you may consider selling it now. As for buyers looking to buy Caspian, you can consider the smallest 3 bedroom of 1141 square feet as the bigger units are going around the same or higher PSF. 
but do take note of the age of the property and try not to hold for more than 10 years. If there's a certain project you want us to review on, do leave a comment in the section below. And if you find our videos useful, click on the like and subscribe button. We'll see you soon.